today covering the anti-privatisation protests at the University of Sussex. Today saw the largest gathering of protesters to date, with several hundred people protesting in Library Square before continuing to Bramber House. Speakers included Students' Union President Kelly McBride, Sussex lecturer Luke Martell and comedian Mark Steele. If anybody ever asked you, well, what are we going to do? Who is going to pay for all of this then if we don't privatise the catering and every other aspect of, of education? Who is going to pay for it? The answer is that we're not all in it together, that there are some people, a handful of people at the top of this society who are continuing to make a fortune to make themselves even richer at the expense of the poor and that is why millions of people I think when they see your story they will support it because not only are you standing up for what is right but you are giving some sort of indication of what we can do. Encouraged by shouts of join us from the balcony, hundreds of students poured into Bramber House, forcing away past security to join the occupation. Today's protest, which began in Library Square, has resulted in another occupation of Bramber House. This time, many more people have stormed in. So I'm standing on the balcony now with Ian Llewellyn, who has been one of the forerunners in the Occupy movement. Can you tell us about the last few days? Um, well, it's been quite good. We've had a continual stream of people who've been able to come in and out, um, despite management's best efforts to intimidate us, um, to call ultimatums for our removal. We've stayed quite strong. We've been able to replenish our numbers. Morale has been very high. And uh, I think this has just been the icing on the cake for the, for the whole thing in general. How long do you believe that this occupation will go on for? Um, well, hopefully the management will uh, accede to our demands straight away, but I can't really see that happening. So I think um, as long as we feel it necessary and we feel we desire to. The number of occupiers inside Bramber House Conference Centre has now increased to several hundred and they have called a general meeting to sort out the next steps. Yeah, part of the reason maybe why our, our legal position is being okay, all right, all good, and it's easy to stay in this room is because we haven't broken anything, we didn't break an enter and we were invited in. And it's really important that we, we remain in such a way where we don't break things, we don't break doors, we go into open buildings we and take that home. Since the demonstration, an unconfirmed authority gave an order for security staff to open access to the conference centre for supporters to come and go. The USSU sought clarification on behalf of the occupiers as to whether the situation had changed, and Students' Union President Kelly McBride received confirmation that free access would be allowed to all from 8am to 10pm. It has so far not been established whether this situation will remain permanently, and the university have not confirmed anything in writing.